जैसे Dulu itu apa? Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, let's see the video from uh, Vice President Republic Indonesia, Professor Kiai Haji Ma'ruf Amin, have visited Tashkent, Uzbekistan, on June 15, 2023. <tuh> berkunjung ke Uzbekistan selain saya bertemu dengan Perdana Menteri yang mengunjungi kemarin di Tashkent makam salah satunya itu ada uh, Quran yang asli yang dulu dibaca oleh Sayyidina Uthman bahkan ketika terjadi beliau dibunuh itu untuk Qur'annya dan belum ada harakatnya ya, Qur'an itu sudah berkeliling kemana-mana nah, kemudian dia kembali ke sini tapi, tapi tinggal sepertiga yang ditulis di atas kulit kulit bukan kertas kulit ada tinggal sepertiga yang dua pertiganya itu berserakan di mana mana itu masih asli jadi kemarin di Tashkent dan juga mengunjungi makamnya Imam Al-Qaffal, salah seorang ulama besar, Madhab Syafi'i. Walaupun di Uzbek ini 
umumnya adalah mazhab Hanafi dan beliau adalah mazhab Syafi'i dan beliau sangat terkenal di Indonesia lebih maju dibanding para orang Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good afternoon your excellencies Distinguished honorable guests Ladies and gentlemen I would like to extend a very warm welcome To all of you and welcome Our foreign delegation From International Islamic Academy of Uzbekistan and Embassy of Uzbekistan in Jakarta. Praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have been graced by the chance together in this momentous event. Today we mark this date as a visiting program and public lecture, the rise and link of Islam in Uzbekistan, Jakarta and International Islamic Academy of Uzbekistan. Before we begin, let's start our agenda by reciting Basmalah. Thank you. Greetings to Professor Asep Saipuddin Jahar, MA PhD, as the Rector State Islamic University Sharif Hidayatullah, Jakarta. Bapak Din Wahid, MA PhD, as Vice Rector for Cooperation Affairs UIN Sharif Hidayatullah, Jakarta. Ibu Profesor Amelia Fauzia, MA PhD, as the Director of Institute for Research and Community Empowerment Center. Ibu Maila Dinia Husni Rahim, MA PhD, as the Head of International and Cooperation, UIN Sharif Hidayatullah, Jakarta. For the first performance, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pasembahan dance from student faculty of education and teacher training. For your information, Pasembahan Dance is a traditional dance from Minang Kabau, West Sumatra, Indonesia. The dance is performed at the welcoming ceremony as a greeting dance and an expression to respect the guests of honor. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give applause to the student, poster, dance club, UIN Syarif Hidayatullah, Jakarta. since 90s. Instead, we have, we have strong historic foundation and the... Uh, uh, Dr. Salim Dusanov. <laughs> Another token appreciate from the Embassy of Uzbekistan. Yes. Whole Muslim Ummah, founder of the Kubrawiya Tariqa, Burhanuddin Marganani, as the author of Hidayah, Fakh Abu Laiz Samarkandi, who was known as Imam al Huda. And the uh, last one is uh, Indonesia has been regarded as one among the world most generous country in the world. This is according to the survey of the uh, Charity, Aid Fund, Charity Aid Foundation in 2019, 2021, and 22. In 2019, 2021, and 22. So Thank you for your remarkable response. And 
uh, I believe that students here, our audience, uh, are eager to visiting uh, Uzbekistan, yeah, especially your university. Inshallah. <laughs> As uh, Professor Amelia Pauzia was saying something about uh, one of the biggest Muslim organization in Indonesia, Nahdlatul Ulama. Um, uh, you were explaining about uh, al Maturidiyah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this uh, uh, biggest Muslim in Indonesia, maybe in the world, I think, Nahdlatul Ulama, yeah. adopted not only al Ashariyah mm. in terms of theology, but also al Maturidiyah. Yeah. And if we link to uh, Maulana Ibrahim, uh, who was uh, born in Samarkandi, in mm -hmm. Samarkand, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, so it has a great influence, I think, yeah, uh, to uh, for for the Muslim in Indonesia, especially in the Nahdlatul Ulama organization, to perpetuate to combine between al Asariyah and al Maturidiyah in order to sustain moderate Islam, uh, yeah. Islam wasatiyah. Yes. Yeah. So is there any uh, additional explanation from yeah. Dr. Salim? Salim You want to add? Uh, let yeah. me add uh, some information about Imam Maturidi. And uh, know this, our researchers, uh, the, we have the research center Center, International Research Center, and the, our academy, Imam Maturidi Center. Uh, one, uh, one of the, our member, uh, Shukurla Jorayev, he is from the, this center, Imam Maturidi International Research Center. Uh, uh, even let me the, uh, some um, information about the President Sukarno, who uh, uh, came to Uzbekistan. 1956. Uh, it is uh, uh, our the Uzbek people uh, have uh, among the our Uzbek people will known president uh, this your president former president because uh, the end under Soviet USS regime he came to Uzbekistan special Samarkand to see uh, Bukhari's tomb. And uh, they have one information about the Bukhari stamp. And, and during the Soviet period, the every such kind of tomb opened uh, by the S.U.S. archaeologists. Unfortunately, at this time, nobody knew about the Bukhari stamp. When Sukarno decided to come to Samarkand to see Bukhari stump, to Ziyara, for Ziyara to Bukhari stump, and um, some, uh, the, they ordered to find Bukhari stump. They, first of all, the, uh, they uh, looked, uh, looking for the Bukhara, but they couldn't find. Bukhari's tomb, and uh, and they continued their search Bukhari's tomb, and uh, then come to Samarkand. Samark uh, Bukhari's tomb uh, near the Samarkand city. It is forty kilometers for, from Samarkand city, and then uh, they search searched around the Samarkand. And finally, they find the summer, uh, Bukhari stump. This is, alhamdulillah, Allah has one secret for and for us, for because the a lot of tombs opened by the archaeologists, but except Imam Bukhari, and such Imam Maturidis in other uh, scholars' tomb not opened by archaeologists. I hope. Uh, this why uh, our people know Sukarno very well, and they have great respect to Sukarno. Yo. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ashir Ali Abdi Zashidov, for your wonderful explanations, and it uh, 
push us yeah uh, motivate it has motivated us i think also students uh, to quickly come uh, to visit <laughs> uzbekistan for future collaboration so thank you very much uh, so uh, let's open the floor for questions from our audience from our students from our uh, lecturers yeah and please raise your hands if you have uh, a question and use microphone opposite to to you um it's also state your your name your affiliation before asking the question yeah silakan ada yang ingin bertanya ya silakan mas give him up an applause yeah because he's going to uzbekistan <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, my name is Miftah Labib Adiansyah. You can call me Miftah. Uh, uh, as a regular Indonesian citizen, uh, firstly I want to apologize in advance for my lack in English and grammar, uh, obviously. Uh, for from your presentation, uh, sir, uh, we all know that Uzbekistan is a very great cu country, and we are very excited to visit your country, especially for uh, our friends that majoring in uh, religious major, such as tafsir hadis, dakwah, and others. Uh, me, myself, I'm now taking uh, physics education. Mm. Well, not so religious, but I do once was a Sandri. Sandri is a student of Islamic boarding school, kind of. It's called Pondok Pesantren in Indonesia. And uh, I've just read a news about uh, our collaboration between Indonesia and Uzbekistan uh, in education. Uh, I've read that we will have a program like student exchange and research, uh, collaborative research. Uh, so my first question is when it will uh, help happen? <laughs> <laughs> and how do uh, we apply to that program? Uh, that's that's the first question actually. And the second question is from my my friend. Her name is Siti Fajriah. She's kind of shy, <laughs> and she wanna ask that. Which uh, one is Siti Fajriah? Which one? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we, well, we're both uh, majoring in physics education. Her question is, uh, if we want to apply to that program, exchange student, uh, is there, uh, is there will be any uh, preparation program like uh, the language training, uh, kind of like that, or maybe yeah, like some kind uh, preparation program like that, and then um, another question, can we? Yes. Be my guest. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, about the difference, uh, uh, we, we uh, about uh, uh, you guys have arrived in our country. I know it's just a couple hours, right? But what's your first impression, like uh, the difference from Uzbekistan and Indonesia, apart from the Mazhab? Uh, we are Shafi'i and in Uzbekistan effort it's Hanafi, right? It's Hanafi. Mm. Apart from the Mazhab, what is the big difference about Islam in uh, these two countries? Uh, that's all my question and my friend's question. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much, uh, Mifta and Siti Fajria. Fajira. Yeah. Hopefully, this is uh, the question that will uh, lead you to, to a bigger uh, success yeah, that is studying in the land of uh, the most prestigious Muslim scholars in the world. You know, it is not only great, I think greatest, greatest country. <laughs> so please, uh, Mr. Uh, Sirali Abdi Zasidov and also Dr. Salim Dusanov to respond to the questions. Thank you for your question, questions almost, and uh, such as a brave student.
decided to first of all to ask questions f from us. For the for your first uh, question was the student exchange. Inshallah, we we are planning to uh, sign MOU with your university, Inshallah. And when we come back to Uzbekistan, we uh, deliver, uh, provide uh, our the information about your your university and Indonesian universities. And, and then we uh, try to uh, sign uh, prepare MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, uh, between two institutions. After signed, as after signed this Memorandum of Understanding, we are uh, the start to join programs and uh, student exchange, student and professor lectures exchange program, inshallah. But uh, if your side, your, your lectures and students, if uh, would like to go to Uzbekistan, we can uh, organize program such as summer school program. Uh, how can we can organize this program? First of all, uh, we gather uh, visitors from Indonesia, from your university, and our academy, and give some information about, uh, uh, maybe give some lectures, one or two lectures, uh, introduction lectures, and then we the visit uh, historical place in Tashkent, which is a uh, uh, Mushafi Usman, who is kept in Tashkent. And then we can visit uh, Samarkand. Samarkand. And also our, and our colleague, uh, Samarkand uh, Imam Bukhari Research Center, uh, we know each other and we work with them. It's no problem for us uh, to organize such a, such as program and Samarkand. Maybe two days in Tashkent, two days in Samarkand, and then Bukhara, maybe three or two days. If you would like to a longer program, we can add Khorazm, Khorazm region, the one of the western part of Uzbekistan, and then uh, southern part of Uzbekistan located, which is the tomb of uh, Muhaddis Imam al-Tirmidhi. They have also research center under Imam al-Tirmidhi. And then Kashkadare, then come back. It will be better for you to learn Islamic architecture and even uh, you can test our national dishes, cousins. It will be good. Uh, maybe the, the for first time it will be as a better for us. And uh, your second question, uh, the first question is second part language. Yes, uh, we have uh, not not much more the um, international students nowadays. Forty students just, uh, but uh, in the future. We are trying to open international international courses, international courses, uh, and the international courses will be provided uh, language English languages. But uh, your if you know English language, uh, you it's okay for us. Uh, your second question, uh, our first impression and. Uh, when, I, we, when we came to uh, Jakarta in Indonesia, uh, let me give some information. Uh, I uh, first of all, I came uh, this area, uh, especially in Malaysia, and my fifth time. And 
this year we decided at Indonesia also, especially in Jakarta, and our first day in Jakarta um, before yesterday, we have been we had been in Bogor. Uh, there in Bogor, uh, many people the with us and just uh, school peoples they just uh, brought our hearts and yesterday we uh, we had a meeting with Sahit University we have uh, MOU with Sahit University it signed it uh, in 2018 we are trying to resign it one more because the period of the MOU for our between Sahid University, Sahid Group, with us five years. And your second question, second part, Shafi and Hanafi Maschavas. In my opinion, I have been many countries that for every people, every Muslim, they, they have no such kind of difficult, you, can, you couldn't find such a difficult to pray your namaz, uh, your salah. I hope we couldn't find any differences between in Shafi or Hanafi. For us, it's okay. If uh, Imam will be Shafi, it's okay, we follow them. Imam will be uh, Hanafi, okay, we follow them. Of course, for Mashab, for us, it's okay. Because we are tolerant Muslim, they, they have no difference between Mashabs for us. Just this is we to our life in Islam. Thank you. Sorry for large my answer and long answer. Yeah, thank you. thank you very much for your remarkable response to the question, ya. Yeah. Uh, Saudara Mita dan Saudara Siti Pazira, so when would you like to go to Uzbekistan? Yeah. You have to finish first here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Sir. Is there any uh, scholarship actually uh, from your university? Sorry? And any scholarship? Any funding? Uh, no, this we haven't in a scholarship, mm. uh, but in the future maybe. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. And Mipta, you will be uh, the priority, inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, please, uh, yeah, please. I just want to make oh. some notes yeah. regarding the question. Mifta. Mifta. I like you, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this is good guy. Very good guy, uh, who is very interested in Uzbekistan, and uh, he has a good intent to visit Uzbekistan. And I appreciate that uh, your students know a lot about Uzbekistan, about the Uzbekistan scholars in the past, yeah. Actually, right now we are together with the administration of the university working on the making possibilities, scholarships for both students, for Uzbekistan students and Indonesian students. Uh, with Bu Maila, we are coordinating these projects and uh, inshallah in the future we conclude our um, coordination and uh, we'll give some news for you. Yes. <laughs> Inshallah, we will um, finalize um, very soon and uh, we will give uh, our coordination results. Just wait a bit and you will go <laughs> to Uzbekistan. Yeah? Maybe, Thank you. maybe at the end of this session, maybe he won win the scholarship <laughs> from Uzbekistan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. for your uh, remarkable additional informations of 
the study in Uzbekistan, yeah. So Miftah is actually student of education of physics, yeah. So it is in the park. Uh, so he he is uh, one of the student of the faculty of education. So we have also we have also the faculty of science and technology, yeah. Uh, focusing on the physics, but he focus he focuses on education uh, of physics. Yeah. Perhaps we would like to invite first uh, Ibu Dr. Ma, uh, Maila, yeah, I think, because she, she is in charge of the Center for Collaboration and International Office of our Sharif Riyatullah State Islamic University. Silakan, uh, Bu. Terima kasih, Pak Usep. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Honorary guests from the Islamic uh, is, uh, Islamic Academy of uh, Uzbekistan and also from the Embassy of Uzbekistan. We are delighted that you are today are here and we hope that it will be the beginning for many visits and also we would like to have reciprocal visit also to Uzbekistan. And as Mr. Abdirahman uh, stated about the scholarship, we are working on the plan that we will send uh, yeah, students and also graduates and also uh, lecturers to Uzbekistan to continue their study and in vice versa from Uzbekistan to here. So hopefully the title today, The Rise and Link of Islam in Uzbekistan and in Indonesia will continue and will be strengthened in the future. Terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam Thank you very much Ibu Dr. Maila. Yeah for initiating this wonderful public lecture series as well as inshallah as uh, Pa Abdurrahman was saying that wait and see and do <laughs> yeah inshallah yeah because this is we are in the uh, we we just did our final exams and students were, were on leave yeah and inshallah at the end of uh, this month, I think we will start uh, with our new academic semester. Uh, so, uh, which semester are you, uh, Miftah? Semester berapa? Oh, uh, seven semester. So you have to end up your undergraduate education as soon as possible. Yeah? If you want to go to Uzbekistan to visit Al Bukhari Storms. <laughs> yeah. Any other question, please? Uh, the audience, Ibu Zakia? Yeah. Ibu Zakia, Dr. Zakia Darajat, uh, is the head of the study program of Islamic history and civilizations of the Faculty of Adab and Humanities. Yeah, please. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Osep. I would like to ask uh, to Mr. From Uzbekistan, I think this is very uh, amazing information about uh, Islam in Uzbekistan. There are many, many big ulama uh, from uh, came from this uh, country, and there are many, many historical places uh, we need to visit. It, I think, but uh, to tell you the truth, that um, unfor unfortunately, our people in Indonesia, especially who love uh, travel. Uh, has not mm, become uh, uh, Uzbekistan has not become a, uh, one of the destination in our travel. Mm. Uh, we prefer to come to Turkey, for example, and maybe because they the, uh, 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 many many people doesn't know how amazing Uzbekistan is. Mm. So um, what will the government of Uzbekistan do to invite or to increase our, um, our visitors, especially to Muslim community in Indonesia, to invite this uh, uh, very, very historical uh, country, I think. Uh, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Perhaps yeah, you may directly uh, 
Pak Abdul Rahman, respond to the question. Thank you. I guess this question more to the embassy than rather than to the academy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so regarding the activities, efforts of Uzbekistan uh, to promote Uzbekistan for the Indonesian tourists, uh, we are actually doing a lot of works as uh, before during today's event was mentioned by our um, head of mission, His Excellency Mr. Muzaffar. Uh, we recently launched direct flight to Uzbekistan, Tashkent, Jakarta, Tashkent, which is very compatible price for it. Return ticket, ticket is um, very um, cheap in comparison with other directions, with other options. And uh, we always uh, having uh, international events together with the Indonesian side. Today is also, today is also um, the part of this promotional activity of the Uzbekistan side because uh, we can see uh, a lot of your um, representatives know, already know about Uzbekistan. And uh, we really appreciate the, this um, thing. And we are very openly to consider proposals for cooperation in the field of uh, promotion, in the field of organizing visits to Uzbekistan of the Indonesian uh, representatives, university. We are very, very open to, for cooperation and very ready to listen the proposals from all sides regarding uh, increasing the tourists from Indonesia to Uzbekistan. Actually, we have uh, developed this sphere um, during la uh, past five, ten years um, in, uh, in times here. Yeah? Uh, and now, after the pandemic, after the pandemic, the um, tourists quantity is becoming more and more after launching the direct flight. Before it was um, less than 500. Now it is already full flight is uh, flying to Uzbekistan from Indonesia. And um, if you have any proposal, if you want to go to Uzbekistan, actually we are ready to organize for you that one. Yeah. <laughs> Please, please advise me, advise us, the embassy or representatives of the academy to organize the visit of the university students. I already mm, met uh, before, um, several months ago, with uh, uh, Pa uh, Vice Rector, uh, Mr. Um, Din Wahid. Din Wahid. Um, we, I, was pro I was making proposal to uh, Mr. Uh, Din Wahid that let's organize the visit of the students to Uzbekistan during the summer vacation. And um, I'm still interested in this proposal. Uh, and it would be very, very good uh, um, opportunity for the students uh, to visit for one week or two weeks to see the Uzbekistan, to see opportunities which, which are done for uh, in foreign tourists and at the same time we could organize um, some activities for example academic activities for the students during their visit to Uzbekistan we can organize the visit uh, to all the um, ancient uh, cities of Uzbekistan uh, actually it will be um, the, it will be as I told during our meeting uh, it will be uh, totally um, uh, financed by themselves. Sorry for that, but <laughs> it should be uh, financed. Uh, but we uh, can uh, help to uh, making this uh, trip, this package, I don't know, yeah, uh, with the best options, uh, especially for students, yeah, uh, in the way which is not for, uh, you know, uh, for business purposes, just for covering the um, expenses for flights, yeah, for uh, staying, for accommodation, not for business purposes, yeah. It will be something like special uh, rate. 
only for students. Yeah, uh, we will we can find the uh, agencies, tori touristic agencies, who are uh, very keenly working with uh, embassy for this kind of purposes, and uh, it would be very great opportunity for not only for Indonesian students, but uh, for tourism tourism sector of Uzbekistan as well. <laughs> yeah, for promote pro promoting. Uh, among the um, students of Indonesia. Yeah. If you have any additional uh, remarks, I am ready to listen. Yes. Thank you. Thank I'm you very sorry. much, pa Abdurrahman, for your yeah. clear Mungkin explanation. Uh, Please, Bu Maila. Yeah. yeah, you may add. Mungkin Prof Amel bisa menambahkan. Maybe yeah. uh, Prof Amel could add some more information because we, uh, Prof Amel is the director for Institute for research and community uh, empowerment mm. and we have a student program sending students uh, overseas to do some social or community empowerment program maybe this one also something that we could uh, yeah, explore with the embassy of uzbekistan uh, so it's not only student mobility campus to campus but uh, students to the community yeah yeah, Prof. Amel, uh, and um, Mr. Abdirahman has actually invited us to <laughs> the embassy to discuss this further. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. maybe you have uh, some remarks yeah. about this idea, please. Um, yeah, Amel, please. Thank you, uh, Dr. Maila. Yes, um, I think three activities that we could do, research, um, and then um, exchange of student, student scholarship, uh, of course, here at university, al we also offer scholarship for students from uh, other country to study here with the, um, we call the uh, scholarship of rector. Hmm. Uh, and the last thing is the uh, community empowerment program or community engagement. So uh, students, every year we send uh, students of UIN Jakarta for the community outreach, community uh, empowerment program. Let's say this year about 5,000 students. Yeah, <laughs> we send students five, uh, uh, mostly in um, uh, nearby province. But we have also um, community empowerment uh, program for students overseas to five countries. Uh, to Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, Korea, South Korea, Japan, Japan Netherlands. Um, and students are very excited to apply for this program, even though they have to pay the expense. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So. Not all to the overseas, no. Uh, for the overseas, I think about uh, 70 students. 70, yeah. Uh, students uh, going uh, overseas for the community uh, development program, community mm. empowerment program. Mm. Yeah, so we really um, hope that we can also offer students for doing a community uh, development program. We call here KKN, Kuliah Kerja Nyata. This is part of the uh, subject uh, at our university. Uh, hopefully next year, we can have option to Uzbekistan. Uh, I'm sure there are many students willing to go there. Uh, so we just need like which university can um, let's say can uh, have them and then which area of the part of the communities let's say in the village or um, in um, uh, madrasa or, yeah whatever so who, who want to uh, have them to do community service there so community service usually for one month so they work voluntarily in the, you know, whatever, at school, at the uh, office, at universities, or yeah, many other places that uh, wanted to get help from the students. 
Yeah. So if you want, uh, if you, for example, wanted to select certain students from uh, students from the certain faculties, for example, oh, for the Uzbekistan, we want students from the Tafsir Hadith or, or from mm -hmm. Faculty of Education or from certain faculties, it's uh, also uh, welcome. Yeah, that's all for the information. So I I think uh, uh, students. I just opened the Traveloka. <laughs> I find how much the ticket, <laughs> especially on Wednesday, it's only six million yes. one way, and return uh. it's yeah, only twelve million rupiah. Twelve to fifteen. Oh. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, in return. the return. Or start from. Yeah, it depends on the day, right? I think Wednesday is the the day of the flight. Yeah, the direct flight, Uzbekistan Airways. Right? Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> it become very easy to travel there. Yeah. It is. Transit there, yeah, yeah. Transit will very expensive, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bu Amel. Uh, thank you. Yeah. So, Pak uh, Abdurrahman, is there actually any Indonesian Muslim community in Uzbekistan? Uh, Indonesian. Yes. Yeah. But we need to check it. It's yeah. better to check to check through your embassy. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I ask that because there is an interesting dynamics of some of the students who conducted social uh, service, yeah, social uh, commun community engagement yeah, in the Netherlands. So there, there was a Muslim co Indonesian Muslim community in uh, Holland. Uh, especially in Leiden, yeah, in The Hague. And so the student funded themselves to do uh, community development there. And they taught uh, in the boss, and they regained uh, some financial benefit from uh, Indonesian Muslim community uh, in the Al Hikmah Mosque. And they wanted to go back there. <laughs> That's why I asked. <laughs> but, uh, in the there are a lot of yes, right. Yeah, Muslim community. Yeah. So, yes, uh, we have nine minutes left. I think. Is there any other questions? Yes, uh, silakan, Mas. Introduce yourself. Test, test. Okay, thank you so much to giving me opportunities. So let me introduce myself. My name is Fahmi Anhar Muradi. I am from Faculty of Tarbia on Physics Education. So I uh, I wanna ask some a question that I'm very in interested to study abroad in Uzbekistan. So how we get a scholarship in study uh, 
in Uzbekistan to study abroad in there. Uh, what we can do it to get them. So, uh, let's thank you. Yeah, scholarship. Terima kasih, Mas Wahdi. Ya, silakan Pak Abdul Rahman. Okay, thank you so much for your interesting question. Uh, it is partially uh, um, linked to the to the information uh, which was early in, uh, said. Uh, for the for the scholarships. First of all, let me uh, let me first uh, explain how it works. Scholarship, yeah. Uh, scholarships are granted by the universities. Uh, it, um, it may be types of uh, government scholarship or funded by the universities themselves. Uh, in the case of uh, government, it it should be announced through the. Um, uh, through the relevant agencies, uh, or if it is through uh, sep uh, certain um, universities are realized on the websites of these uh, universities, uh, information information should be um, available on the websites. Uh, for study in Uzbekistan and uh, on the base of uh, scholarship, as I told before, we are working uh, to grant, to make, to bring uh, scholarships for the students of the uh, Sharif Hidayatullah State Islamic University uh, in the universities of uh, Uzbekistan. Uh, uh, inshallah, in the future, um, we can give some information and launch uh, bilateral joint programs with the Uzbekistan universities, together with the administration of the University Sharif Hidayatullah State Islamic University. Thank you very much, Pak Abdul Rahman, for your uh, important uh, response to Wahdi's uh, question, I think. Yeah? Mas Wahdi, yeah? so, uh, siapkan dari sekarang, yeah? uh, prepare, prepare well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as the time goes by it's very quickly and before we end up our discussion I would like to invite uh, Mr. Asir Ali Abdi Zusidov and Dr. Salim Dusanov to come with uh, the concluding remarks. Yes. Um. And uh, one more, I would like to thank you for hosting to our delegation and uh, your hospitality and your the mm, fees, which is a smile fees, your the site. And we we would like to to uh, and we love your the fees, which is smile fees. And uh, in, uh, we hope that in the future, our cooperation, collaboration uh, with each uh, both universities, maybe will be fruitful. Inshallah, will be fruitful. And uh, your side, your lecturers and your students come to Uzbekistan, and we are inshallah support of them. Uh, even our tuition fee not uh, so much uh, expensive. Now this for for local uh, students around eight hundred uh, dollar for period. For the uh, foreigners, foreign students, twenty five percent more. The, this means thousand dollar for period. And thank you one more, uh, your hospitality and your accept our delegation. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Uh, Asir Ali Abdiz Sidov, yeah, for your remarkable concluding remark. And I would like to invite Dr. Salim Duzanov for the concluding remark. 
Одан бар қызықарлы митинг ва семинар үшін сүлерге Аллахы да рахмат. Бұл шықшыларымыз үкі таманғы мәнфәтлі бола деген үміттәміз. Ва шәріп қытайатыллах ұслам үнірсетінді рахбариаты ға жамазы ға Аллахы да өз мінді дарчылығымыз білдірәміз. Ва бұл үккелі үнірсет ұртасы дәге мәнфәтлі Аллахы Кележекті үкі тамаллама үлім үйлі де мәнфәтлі алақаларын үлге қойамыз. Салам алейкум, рахматуллах, баракет. Уалейкум, салам. Абдурахман, can you help translate? I would like to translate. First of all, thank you to the leadership, to the representatives of the university, Шарф Хидайатуллах. And I hope this, today's event will be uh, the first step for the future bilateral uh, cooperation between our institutions mm -hmm. and uh, it will not end on this step and uh, it will long last cooperation uh, thank you so much you are most welcome dr salim Buzanov, yeah and will come back any time to our lovely uh, Sharif Hidayatullah uh, State Islamic University. Yeah. Bu Amel, please, the final concluding remark. Thank you. Both uh, Uzbekistan and Indonesia have a golden past of the Islamic culture and civilization. So in this modern and modern time, we have great opportunities to join force together to re-establish Islamic civilization of the future, both because both Uzbekistan and Indonesia have a strong of um, inclusive Islam, moderate Islam, which is become a um, um, vehicle, I think, um, for making uh, civilization of the future. I really uh, hope that this first visit will continue for another Double. visit uh, from both sides. And uh, really hope that, uh, I really, really dream that we will have a research center to to dig more Islamic civilization here that relate to the Uzbekistan, and then also to, to do more research on Islamic civilization in uh, Uzbekistan that really relevant, not only to Uzbekistan, Indonesia, but to the world. That's all for me. Uh, hopefully to meet you again uh, next time. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa barakatuh. Thank you very much, Professor Amelia Pauzia for your concluding remark. And <coughs> we have here uh, Chinkun Corner, uh, Buddhist Corner, eh? and American Corner as well. Uh, what would you recommend if you establish Uzbekistan Corner in order to facilitate our uh, stronger collaboration? Yeah. Yeah, perhaps in rectorate office or in Ibu in the in our main library yeah we'll be look at it university hmm. we manage in center for international cooperation but the location all in library so we have American corner Canadian corner and then Canadian. Turkish corner Turkish Iranian <laughs> corner uh, Saudi Arabian corner <laughs> so we are waiting that the embassy of Uzbekistan might open Uzbekistan corner in yeah. our university yes. yeah thank you Bu Maila. yeah I think uh, why is it important the corner because uh, frankly speaking yeah, Uzbekistan uh, has been I think has been daily memory of uh, most of Indonesian Muslim community. Yeah, so if you visit any mosque or any Islamic boarding school, there must be Sahih al-Bukhari. Yeah. Even one of my uh, 
religious teacher named uh, Pak Tirmizi. Yeah. So it's very close, I think. Uh, and we, by establishing this corner, uh, students, especially students of this university, will uh, return their memory to Uzbekistan that uh, what they read uh, about Islam was very much uh, published and written by great scholars, yeah, mus uh, greatest Muslim scholars of Uzbekistan, I think. Yeah. And Bu Amel was really hoping about this because uh, if I'm not mistaken, we just talk a little bit later. <laughs> Uh, that uh, one of his son or one of her son is going to marry a woman, a Muslim woman from Kazakhstan. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much uh, for your attention and participation. We have come to the end of our seminar of the rise and links of Islam in Uzbekistan and in, in Indonesia. I hope you have enjoyed this session and gained some valuable insight and knowledge from our distinguished uh, speakers, yeah? uh, Mr. Ashir Ali Abdi Zasidov and uh, Dr. Salim Dusanov and also uh, Ibu Dr. Amelia Fauzia. Uh, we also had some lively and interesting discussion and question from the audience. Thank you, uh, Mas Wahdi and uh, Mas Mipta, yeah. uh, thank you for your active involvement and contribution. Inshallah, you are going to Uzbekistan sooner or later. Inshallah. I would like to thank uh, our speakers once again uh, for their time and expertise. And let's give them a big round of applause once more. Yeah. <laughs> and especially, I would like to also to thank uh, the organizer of the International Cooperation Service Center of the Sarif Hidayatullah, uh, Sarif Hidayatullah State Islamic University, especially Ibu Dr. Maila Dina Husni Rahim, who is going to visit soon, the Uzbekistan. <laughs> Please give a uh, warm applause to Ibu uh, Maila. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, who has made this uh, public lecture series uh, possible yeah, and happen. Uh, finally, I would like to thank to you all for joining us today. I hope you have learned something new and useful from this meeting. Thank you very much and have a great day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you so much, Dr. Usep Abdul Matin, for lead uh, the discussion for today as a public lecture series, The Rise and Link of Islam in Uzbekistan and Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, may I thank you very much for your active participation in this agenda. As the saying goes, to every beginning, there is an ending. Once again, thank you everyone for gracing our lecture series with your presence. We truly appreciate it. Siska Kata Rahmat. Is that true? <laughs> thank you so much. On behalf of the organizing committees, we do apologize if we have done any mistake throughout the agenda. And this is happened uh, also for uh, Humas uh, as a public information. And thank you Bapak Zainal Mutakin and Bapak Indra for uh, helping us during this uh, lecture series. I end my duty as a Master of Ceremony today event with Wabillahi Taufiq wal Hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh.